that auto run. Let's see. Um, I want to change back to Warrior so I can do this level cap quest. And I want to hit an inn. So the place that has both of those things right near the entrance is Megistoris. So let's go replenish MP and then change back to Warrior. yellow because it's at my current level cap. I don't know if he's going to ask me about storing my XP now that I've changed into this. Chicken? Oh, yeah, they added some more pets into the pay store. So now you can get a black chicken or a white chicken there's also in the um, the lottery game that you can play at the concierge, you can win a golden one. Alright, let me just double check where this quest is located. I'm pretty sure it's back in Dorwam in the well. Yep. You guys remember going there last time? You don't have to be your highest class to do the, the cap quest. Yeah, but I kind of figured it would be good to go with a few extra levels. Because I think, what, this is eight levels above where my battle master is. Plus, during the boss fight, I kind of missed not having the warrior knockback technique. So I can't help but feel that that will be helpful in the fight to come. Let's see, last time we had we did a cap quest, there was a special trick to it where all magic was blocked. So that was a little rough. I know I've fought this boss before on my main character, but I can't remember how it went. Okay, so we're back here in the well with Minana. Uh, welcome, no. Your growth is... Hmm, you are at last ready to... Uh, or you at la are, are at last of a power level where you can unlock the level 90... Or going to level 99. The time has come. The day is close at hand when the Holy Master of Light will awaken from his deep slumber. Courage, uh, compassion, wisdom, and hope. Since you are, have shown your heart to, or proven your heart with, through all of these things, I'm sure your voice will reach the master. Uh, now 
now is the time to uh, offer up a prayer to the master to unlock your final power. Are you prepared? Uh, yes. Let's go for it. So Mel put all of her, her courage, her compassion, wisdom, and hope into her heart, into her prayer to the Holy Master of Light, Holy Teacher of Light, and heard a voice coming from somewhere. Warrior Mel. Once again, we've got uh, courage, compassion, wisdom, hope. You have proven all of these in your heart. Child of Estelpia, and now speak to my heart. I am, say, the holy teacher of light. A great amount of holy light resides within my body. And serves as a beacon to uh, guide and protect the warriors. If you wish to unlock this final power, then grind all of that hope, compassion, wisdom, and, wait, courage, compassion, wisdom, and hope in your heart into dust and prove to me your heart of justice. Was the master's voice able to reach you as well? I guess she heard it too. It appears that the monster for or the beast for this test has appeared within the eastern global desert in the Flowing Sand Hideaway? Yeah. I think that's the name of a cave. Now defeat that beast for this trial. Uh, retrieve the Emblem of Justice and bring it back. And prove your justice to the Holy Teacher of Light. If you do this, then by the guidance of that light, the Master will awaken to greet you and show himself at last. Okay. Arigato! Let's see. Once you've managed to gain the Emblem of Justice, come talk to me again. May the Guidance of the Light be with you. Mom. 
might have somebody coming by to help. Let's make sure that I have plenty of fuel. Okay, good. And evacuate. Okay, taking a look at the map. The cave we need to go to is up there in the northeast. Is there a quest out here? It's probably a color quest. Oh, she's out there. Okay. Sun sunning herself in the desert. Hi, wakarimashita. Okay. We're gonna set out ahead. Going this way. It's actually a pretty clear day for the desert. No sandstorms going on. Over here. Alrighty. Oh, it's a door. I see. Everybody's healed up. All right. Wait a minute. Ah ha ha. Where's where's my sword? That would have been bad. Let's see. I have a level 70 great sword. But a level 80 axe. Just a sec. I am checking to see Okay. I wasn't sure if uh, the ticks that I'm fond of using are sword based or just warrior based but it looks like they are warrior might want to put some points into axes well once uh Actually, wait a second, where is... Huh. Oh no. I have a level 93 sword that I picked up for Mel. But 
I was doing some leveling up with Amicia and equipped it on her and forgot to unequip it. So now I don't have access to it. Oh well. We'll, we'll be okay, I'm sure. I did. I bought I bought a Hyper Falcon sword and I gave it to Aunt Lucia. <laughs> oh, uh thank you, Kara W. Uh if you are uh, not busy and you want to come along, sure. <laughs> I remember this being a little bit rough of, uh, of a fight. Par party in this cave. So we're going to put away uh, rented Ayumira and ask the real one to come join us. I like that armor too. Aw, I, I don't have that gesture yet, but Mel is going to look so cute doing it whenever I manage to learn it. Uh, if you could come as priest, yes, that would be most helpful. <laughs> you are the fastest healer that I've met in game. of happy Oh, so many cool outfits. <laughs> I am going to put on my new one. And there's always a Draki looming over my shoulder. <laughs> Agreed, Nathan. <laughs> Agreed. Heels are super important, especially when you're not the type of player who likes doing it. I wish we could interact with the pets. I would like to pet the puppy. All right. <laughs> Everybody ready? Okay. Let's go. We're just waiting. It's a thing saying we're wa waiting for everyone to uh, ready up at the door and indicate they want to go through. 
this fight. Actually, this one's hard, but it didn't throw me so much as the previous one where you couldn't use magic. I kind of skimmed through the text for it and got there and I was like, why isn't any of the magic working? Why are there no heals going on? <laughs> Warrior Mel. I will once again awaken once you reach the path I have taken. Uh, if, you, if you do not fear and you face this obstacle, then that will show your part of courage. Oh no, we have to fight so many things. Loving and being loving and accepting of all shows your heart of compassion. Oh, yeah, that's why this one's trouble. So many monsters. Thinking about things deeply and. Arriving at the truth shows your heart of wisdom. And refusing to give up no matter what kind of predicament you find yourself in shows your heart of hope. grind all of those into powder basically and release your heart of justice um hmm i'm going to knock it down to sue just so we don't have to do this fight multiple times hopefully Okay. What are we going for? So much going on, I can't keep track of it all. difficult to get a command in when the, the lightning is constantly stunning. Mel doesn't have protection against that. Okay, there's one down. Okay. Heal 
slimes down. That will hopefully make things a little bit easier. Not looking forward to doing this fight on your your other character. Yeah, I don't blame you. There we go. Finally got the fight. Right before he died. And the monsters have dropped the emblem of justice, which Mel has received in her key items. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> yeah, imagine if I'd done this on difficult, there would have been a lot more deaths. Such a big help. Yes. It's got his Alright. Okay. I guess it is time to take that. Let's let's look at it. At the uh, plate. Or emblem. They look like plates. They look like decorative plates. Yeah, it kind of looks like the, the uh, color swap of the same. Ah, oh, you guys have such cool outfits. <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting more, more cool stuff for Mel. Them on a shelf in my living room. No, I think we have to give the plates away when we do the finish the quest. All right, I guess it's time to go. <laughs> you guys are free to. Head off on your own thing if you want. <laughs> Once I turn in this level cap quest, I will be back on to plot and flying around on my dragon. Oh, the bubble and the car. And it puts your mount in the car or like puts a, does the saber cat always go in the car? That's so cool. 
I don't think I've ever seen one in the back seat of a car before. The, these are paid store mounts, so something to work toward in the future, maybe. <laughs> Oh, I have an offer to go do a, uh, a coin boss in uh, Magic Lab. Okay. I can't quite remember if I've shown off Magic Labs in stream either. It would be a good time to do it. I'm pretty sure I uh, was with a friend and unlocked it off stream. Heading to Dendoa. I suppose, and an inn. in that quest yet. I won't actually gain any XP on Warrior. So I'm going to change over to my next highest class, which is Battlemaster. So yeah, once you unlock doing it. If you want to go with friends and not get paired up with other random players, um, this uh, white fluffy creature named Dorothy is who you talk to. The party leader does. Um, who is me. So we want to go to a magic labyrinth. So we're going to go with friends. Stream drop briefly after the battle? Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Let's see. So the first thing that has to get thrown in is a boss coin or card. Oh, all I have is a, a different boss card. I don't think you can throw in more than one kind of boss at a time. But if I had some other random
random coins that would show up as uh, regular monsters. Like, I think the most common is metal slime coins. We could have thrown some in so that we'd get some of those enemies, but... Don't have any right now. The treasure chests in these are usually just um, low-level magic waters, and people most people tend to skip them because they don't really need it. I've got a couple stacks of them myself, so not a big deal. So then you get to the boss room here. Ooh. in oh with a bunch of friends magic spells in a row. Yep. Mel's current armor can't stand up to that. Especially not when I do the debuff that raises attack by two but lowers defense by one. Oh no. Oh, yeah, there is a little bit in that one. And he started casting the spell right after I input the uh, battle command. I mean, this isn't supposed to be an easy boss fight. Goes down. Grand. You're up. Oh, he's taunting. that one appear over me 
when I took that hit. It's because I've got a rosary on and it saved me from dying. that even if I had that would have killed me or that killed me anyway. Another uh, jewel for Traveler's Orb, and a whole line of chests here, wow. Some fragments for some different accessories. I think they were all for the same kind of ring. have a chance of getting an actual accessory instead of just fragments, but uh, we weren't that lucky this time. <laughs> the leg at the end, yeah. Be on the correct window when I start trying to type. So the boss fight for this one is going to be a Metal King. That is a cool outfit that Aymir has on. Oh, we got the elf designed one. Not just the boss coin, but uh, some regular Metal King monsters so that we can fight more of them along the way. Um, in that case... Let's use a super Ginkidama and give everyone two times XP. And gold, but mostly the XP. Alright, 
right, so this room is where the... Oh man, look at him. Look at them all running around in here. So when you go into a labyrinth, you can, as a group, uh, deposit up to four coins or cards. No, I miss with all of those. Yes, yes, good job. Yes, this dungeon. Well, somebody must have gotten a crit right off the bat. Oh, 304. <laughs> Alright. Time for the last one. So yeah, on top of doing a Metal King boss, We've got three regular metal kings to run into here in the first room of the lab. We got them all! There's... Kessa! Yay! <laughs> Sometimes, if you're lucky, this last room before the boss is where you can sometimes run into NPCs, usually from other games. Um, <laughs> just wanted to finish this level up um, before uh, the new version comes out. Alright. Let's get him. Look at them all. Okay, first one out right away. I heard one run away. I'm not sure how many others escaped, but we for sure got the the strong one that was the boss and a couple of the others. draw tickets for the lottery. Yep, so many metal slimes. If I get a chance, I'll show off a, uh, a metal pair labyrinth on stream sometime, guys. Thanking for the help. <laughs> Yay, I got to show off some new stuff on stream. And a really hard fight. Oh, 
not auto run. Awesome. And this is how much fun it can be to play. How much fun it can be to play a game like this with other people. <laughs> Again. I can't even remember. <laughs> we were gonna go turn in that quest. That's what we were gonna do. Ah, <laughs> uh, down the well in Dorwang. Now we'll finally get to see who this this master of all of the uh, the saints is. They've been dropping hints about it ever since. Gosh, what four or five level cap quests ago? back out my my support characters it's the same characters who were just with me just rented instead of in person <laughs> you beat the strongest version of that new boss before the update I've, I've no doubt you did because you probably were going around with ashes and ashes likes to drop hard boss fights on people <laughs> just for the heck of it Okay. That is without a doubt the emblem of justice. You've gotten it at last. Now put all of your heart of justice into uh, that, that emblem and uh, once again, offer up a prayer to the Holy Teacher of Light. Not a card boss, a special fight tougher than the card bosses. Okay, uh, yeah, that... Oh, man. Yeah, that sounds... That sounds rough. And if it was before the last big update, then that would have been when level cap was at 100 instead of 105 like it is now. I imagine that was nuts. Hey, Deck Bash! How you doing? Welcome! Okay, so we're, we're offering a prayer to the, the holy teacher. One of those 20 minute instant fights. I believe it. Hold it right there. That was one of the other saints. Oh, here they all come. Ah! That, that probably was not a graceful landing that the elk had there. Oh, it looks like we made it in time somehow. To think that 
I could be late for something so important as this. Uh, it looks like everyone uh, was looking forward to seeing the master and um, is very excited. Now then, let's begin. I assume they're all going to pray with me. Uh, we are the, the servants guided by light who uh, administer the four, or yeah. The four hearts of courage, compassion, wisdom, and hope. In accordance with the vow we have exchanged with our master, the holy teacher of light, we guide the chosen warriors. The warrior Mel, who has proven her hearts of courage, compassion, wisdom, and hope, and now stores justice within her heart. Warrior Mel. Oh, that's a kanji that I don't know. Well, a lot of them are ones I don't know, but I've never seen... Well, not never. I don't remember seeing that one again. Let's see. Become the beam of light that calls the holy light to awaken. Now, please offer up your prayer. Um. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. Hey, nice to meet you. I... <laughs> oh. Oh, say it with a straight face. I am the holy teacher of light. So you are the... <laughs> you are the brave warrior Mel, I take it? Uh, I have been watching your success uh, as you've gone through them, your successes, I suppose, as you've gone through them with the girls, or the ladies. You have done well to call and awaken me. Your heart of justice reverberates, um, reverberates a, a well, or I guess loudly in this case, in my heart. it so that the um, that with the heart of justice you have 
will unlock the final power for you. Uh, but before that, Mimi, Nazna, Mena, Minana. It's wonderful to see you, Master. <laughs> They, they use his full title, the, um, the Holy Teacher of Light. Um, but they use, they use Sama with him. Me too, me too. I've wanted to see you this whole time. Hey, uh, I'm just going to use the whole title because then, then that shows you how kind of ridiculous this is. Uh, Holy Teacher of Light. Um, let me pet you! Like, uh, Mofu Mofu, uh, is, is like to, um, like, pet or stroke something that, that's fluffy or fuzzy. And she's like, let me! Hey! Nazna, knock it off! I'm the one who wants to pet the holy ma holy teacher of light. Both of you are being unfair. I want to pet him too. Kochi. <laughs> yeah, what's going on? Hey, Saramichiru! Welcome! You just popped in at a very interesting time of the stream. <laughs> you guys are always so energetic! But there's something we have to do first. Will you, uh, lend me your power? Yes, of course! Alright, good girls. Alright, alright. Are you ready? What? What just happened here? You must be surprised, huh? Uh, the, the girls that you have uh, interacted with up until now, this is their, these are their true forms. You saved uh, Minana after she'd been sealed by the, uh, the servant of the evil spirit of emptiness, right? Long ago, when I was fighting against them, the girls, as you can see, were my holy tools that gave me uh, they gave me power, gave me strength. I see. relatives of that evil spirit of emptiness ever since that fight uh, have 
has been in hiding, but it's only a matter of time before they are standing before me again. I see, it's starting to make a little bit more sense now. Demons um, in Astaltia who grow stronger day by day. You know as well, don't you, that they are the root cause for um, that existence which is called the source of all darkness. source of all darkness. the goddess of creation, Lutiana, and is attempting to destroy Astaltia. now have the right to know the true name or its true name and I shall tell it to you now that cursed name is otherworldly death god Jago Nuba It is the true is the name of the true enemy of Astaltia. So keep in mind that these quests, these level cap quests are kind of separate from the different version stories. So this is talking about something different than the, the demon we're going to be fighting with Amusia. The day of the decisive, decisive battle is not that far away. So please continue to um, excel in your training. Now hold the emblem of justice up high. As high as you can, Mel. Mel raise the emblem of justice up high. It's set into the sky, but just use your imagination. Yes, that is a strong but kind type of justice uh, that suits you. It is the power of justice belonging to the warrior Mel. Have received it. Oh, this is a complicated sentence. Give me a sec.
Okay, if I've got this right... I will become... the... the guide. So that the light can reach the... <clears throat> The noble warriors. <clears throat> when they appear to be guided by my maidens. Or by the maidens. Justice belonging to the warrior Mel, who has proven her courage, compassion, wisdom, and hope. Open the path, or open the way to a new path now. Mel, with this, my role is completed. It was a short time, but it is now time for parting. I must sleep again to store up my power of holy light. When the intended time has come, we will meet again. Oh, they're, they're back to this form? I was going to say back to their normal selves, but no, apparently... That was their normal selves. Oh, it was such a happy moment. Uh, Mina and the others, or Mena and the others looked satisfied and went back to their, um, their posts. The Holy Teacher of Light has finished releasing your power and has gone to sleep once again. With this, you can now grow up to level 99. Congratulations. All right. You've done well over this long period of time. I assume she means like all the level caps up to this point. Uh, you have done well to overcome all the trials uh, until this point. Uh, the master was also, or she must also be quite pleased. Now from here on, please don't forget To be, or to, for your heart to guide you in the, the right or proper direction. You've grown uh, very much, uh, and I look forward to the day when we can meet again. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and the XP for that quest got uh, Battlemaster to 89. Does the cap go beyond 99? Yes! There is one quest that was added, I think sometime in version 3, that goes from 99 to 100. And then in version 4, another quest came out that goes up to from 100 to 105. And I just learned when they made an announcement the other day about um, the next bit of story. I think it's, is it 4.4? .4 that's coming out in like a week. Um, and it will have a quest to go up to 108. 
so Mel's far from done. What? There's a treasure chest over there that I never saw before. Well, let's pick it up now. Okay. Here's that last skill point to get to 150. I am learning Miracle Boost as a technique for Battle Master. We don't need heals, but before we go on with story, um, I do want to change over to warrior for the rest of the stream. More importantly, the update will allow you to have a second hair color for highlights. <laughs> yes, that is a cool new thing they're going to be adding. I'm sure there will be a salon quest to unlock it. But uh, yeah, that's interesting. Then we can make Mel's hair two-tone. Back to Warrior now that it's no longer capped. Ah, oh, she looks so cute. I, it's so tiny, it's hard to see. But the little choker around her neck has a tiny star on it. That is super cool. Um... Oh, one other thing that I didn't mention before about the dragon flute. You actually have to be somewhere in uh, Nandashia to use it. You can't use it to call the, the dragon on any of the other five continents. I, I assume that's to avoid spoilers. Yes, it is break time, I was just going to say. Now that I'm here, before we call the dragon again to actually go to Eternae Island. I'm going to take a quick break. Thank you all so much for joining me. This is so exciting. I'm having so much fun. I hope you are too. I will be back in just a few minutes. <laughs> 